Welcome back to this class. So the next thing is we're going to look at customizing the ribbons. Okay, so right now you can see these are the default items that you have in your Microsoft Excel. Okay, when you come to insert, all what you see is the default items that are provided by Microsoft. You can see come to formulas and the, what you see is the default. You can always come back to the default if you want the default view, the default help menu, all these are default. So, but you are free to customize the ribbon or the tabs to bring in things that you want on a particular day. You can bring in anything, you can add or subtract anything. So to do that, all you need to do is to right click anywhere on the, on the tab, on the ribbon and just come to customize the ribbon. Just click on customize ribbon and it's going to bring you over to this very platform. So you can see it over here. You can equally access it through this file and Excel options. So but for this, you need to understand that there are two tabs. One is the customize the ribbon. This is the main tab and this is the popular tab. So these are the popular tabs that are existing in Microsoft Excel. And this is the main one. This is the one that you have exactly at this point. So you have everything that you see here uh, in existence on the Microsoft Excel platform. You have the uh, background removal, you have the home tab, you have the uh, insert menu, you have the draw, but if you, if you, because you don't see draw because you did not enable it. If you have anything that you want to enable, once you click on enable, it's going to bring it over here. So you have the page layout, you have the formulas, you have the data review, view everything. You can put in developer also if you want. You can have add-ins, you also have add-ins and so on under the developer. So you have help and Foxit PDF and these are other add-ins that I brought in or software that I have added. So if you want to add a given tab that is in existence with within the main tabs, you can just come, for example, this draw tab, you can just click on it to add it. And once you click on OK, it's going to bring in the draw tab and you can see it over here. So once you click on draw, you have all the features that are in the draw tab. Okay, so you can easily use it on your Microsoft Excel. Uh, for example, you may want to write something or you may want to transform a formula or you want to ink something or you want to convert something to a, any given thing. So where you can bring in any kind of uh, tab within the main ribbon. So let's go back to the home and let's right click and get back to our customized ribbon. So this is the home tab. This is a draw. If you want to disable anything also, you just click on click out on it or you just uncheck it. And you can just click on OK and it will remove it from the ribbon. So next is you can bring in any other feature that you feel like it's useful to you and you can find it on the main tab. So you can check around. These are the most popular ones. If you want to see the whole thing, you can just come to this small drop down and you click on it and you see all commands. Once you click on all commands, it now brings in everything, all the commands that are in Microsoft Excel. So you feel free to check on any of them. If you find anyone that you see you are interested in, that you want to bring in, you can just easily select it. But before you select it, you need to just come over to where do you want to put it? You want to put it at the home tab or you want to put it at the insert menu or draw menu or draw tab or the formulas. Okay, so for example, you want to put it at the home tab, you just select on the home tab. And then you have to create a group. So you click on new group and it's going to bring in a new group. So you just right click to rename the group and you can put an, an icon to it. Just put the small icon. You select any icon of your choice and you can just put it and name the group. So right now you can name the group and make it editing tools. So for example, this is just custom example. Okay, so you just click on OK and it's going to bring in over here, like you see editing tools. Okay, so whichever thing you want to bring in, you can select, make sure you select that particular tab that you've created, the group that you've created, and then you can select anything that you want to bring in into that group. So for example, you can come to the all commands and you can check anything. Maybe you want to put in this dollar sign inside this particular one. So you can select and you can just add it into it. So you can see it has just added the dollar sign. And once you hit on OK, it's going to add this dollar sign into the home tab at the last group called editing tools. And you see the dollar sign over here. So you can add more if you want. You can select and maybe you can add this draw icon to come under the dollar sign as well. You can add it and you can say OK. So once you say OK, you can see the editing tools and you can see dollar sign and you can see draw as well. Why it is faded over here is because draw is supposed to be a main tab. So this is how to basically add or customize the ribbon and bring in different kind of fun functions and tabs added 
into the ribbon to customize it to your liking or to customize your frequently used features and align them in one place for ease of access or they are about so you can just right click select or if you want to remove from this thing you just select and you can say remove and it's going to remove this particular tool once you click on this uh, plus sign, you just select and you can remove it from there you can see it has just removed okay so this is basically how to customize the ribbons on your own in the next class we're going to look at how to format a cell what are cells and how to format them using different kind of features thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video yes.